Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a testing liquid lipstick video. Um, I want to start a new like, kind of series on my channel because I have a lot of liquid lipsticks and I thought I'd um, check out like the longevity of them, how they play throughout the day without any touch-ups. Um, to go with the look that I am actually wearing, today's colour is going to be Checkmate by Jeffree Star. Without further ado, I'm going to get into this one. Now, the packaging is cute. I do like Jeffree Star's packaging. It's a chunky tube with his name on there and then um, the star, which is his symbol, um, all along the top. This one, obviously, is red, normally the pink, and I've got one that's yellow and one that's white because they were limited edition. One thing I will say about Jeffree Star is he has got a very unique um, applicator. Um, as the typical doll for applicator is sort of like straight and then it might have a little slant on one side. Now while his does have a slant, it's like a curved slant. I don't know if you'll be able to see on my viewfinder. Um, but his... It won't show you, will it? Because my focus is stupid. Now it's like a, got like a curved slant, but I like that because it fits into the curve of your lip nicely. Um, I imagine if you've got thin lips though, you might be like, ooh be careful with it. Now I normally wear liner um, with my liquid lipsticks, I just do that anyway and I usually just cover my lips with the liner and do it. For the purpose of this, because I know not everyone uses liners, I am just going to go bare uh, but I am using a lip brush just because I'm shit at freehanding it so um, let's get on to it. forgot to say as well, um, I have scrubbed my lips with the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub and I have put a lip balm on that I've had on while I've done my makeup so it's had time to settle. It doesn't need to be taken off even though it looks like it does, there's not much uh, on my lips so I didn't need to wipe it off. Apart from me messing it up because I can't use a lip brush, um, it's going on really nice. Okay, it's really, really nice. It's easy. Uh, it just sits on your lips nicely and you can glide. Uh, what that looks like um it's gone on really well it's got a nice uh, color payoff apart from like um my lip line because i clearly can't put lipstick on Ooh. yeah so this is what it looks like goes on really nice really opaque to say that i haven't used a lip liner as well it's gone on really well and it's dried down really quick don't feel sticky on the lips i can feel that i have got some on the lips i wouldn't say it's lightweight um, well yeah, feels really nice and everything, let's just... Now we have got some... Let me just do the kiss test. Now it has marked that, but it could just be that it's still drying down. What I'm going to do is, it is, let's see the time... 16. So I am going to check back in about quarter past 8, and then I, I, won't, I won't be, probably won't be able to get... Um, eight hours wear out of this but it just depends what time I go to bed um, so I will try to do it about say quarter past seven and then quarter past ten if we just do it like that maybe I'll see how it goes and everything but I will try to give it as long as I can and we will see how it plays with no touch-ups throughout the day. Okay, so we're checking in um, it's my niece's birthday today so I've actually not um, got back in the four hour time slot that I wanted to give myself it's actually um, 20 to 9 oh yeah, it's been on four and a half hours well nearly four and a half hours because i put it on at quarter past four four and a half hours it's not done too bad but i don't know if i can get as close but it, uh, here it's all coming away in my inner corners and if i can get close can you see the line it's not white but it's all built up here and it's faded here but to be fair all my lipsticks regardless always fade here it's like i eat them um but yeah, it's it, it's just got a line right there. It's got that line right there, by the way, and FYI, my dogs are in the room, so if you can hear sniffing or sneezing or anything, it's my dogs. Other than that, because like normally, you just like clean that 
in a bit you'd uh, you tuck it in but I just wanted to show you what it was doing and other than like the line on the inner bit um, which isn't white so it's not as noticeable when you're talking and the fade here if I lift up uh, the fade here that's so attractive that um, it's not done too bad to say that I've not wore a lip liner I'm, uh, I'm, I'm impressed I have wrinkly lips anyway so the actual like detailing on the actual lip um, doesn't bother me let me just zoom you in again like such an attractive pose so yeah it's not too bad it doesn't feel uncomfortable you can definitely tell you've got something on um, so it's not the lightweight feeling of when it was first applied you can definitely feel there's something there now and I'd say if you were going to be pedantic you'd want to take it off to reapply it or just to put a lip balm on um, but it's not like totally like un uncomfortable getting it off my lips right now and like I say apart from the like that um, it wouldn't uh, normally bother me coffee at Costa Coffee so that was touching it, but I had a gluten-free sandwich as well. We shall see in another, another, another couple of hours how it fares. Hello everybody, so it is 10 to midnight and I really want to take my face off now. So it's had seven and a half hours um, on my lips, so not quite the eight hours that I was going for. And I'm actually pretty impressed with how well this bug has lasted. Um, I will do an up close. I've just eaten taco. It's not done too bad to say that I've just had that. Just what you want an up close of this face. So as you can see, my whole bottom lip line is like really, really smudged. Uh, all, all smudged along here. Um, like this is a, a bad one. And I did get a bit down here, so I'm going to do that or something, I don't know. Uh, Totlet isn't so bad, uh, you still got the fade there, but like I say, I get that anyway, and we saw that before. I had that line before, but it's actually chipped away now, so I did notice when I was eating, because I had a yoghurt before as well, when I like took the spoon out of my mouth, I noticed there was little bits of lipstick on the spoon, so that line that was there came away, like, just as you were drinking or eating or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I don't think, obviously you'd... Um, it doesn't look the prettiest, but I'd say pretty impressive actually. Still got it on. It's not very neat and it has smudged up here. Uh, but all in all, I'd say that's a pretty good lipstick. In the UK, this retails for £16 on beautyday.com. I think it lasts really, really well. I think it feels comfortable on the lips. And I think the colour's lovely, to be honest, actually. I don't really go for red oranges but the colour is really lovely and I think it's just a really nice lipstick. The only thing I will say is, which I forgot to mention in my first check-in is, I noticed that this fade um, happened like within an hour of me putting it on so it is something that I struggle with that anyway, that's the um, most one of the main reasons why I do colouring my lips with a lip liner just because it doesn't matter what I'm wearing I always lose it here um for some reason so i really can't blame the lipstick for that but then at the same time it is meant to stay on the lips so yeah i would give this say an 8 out of 10 i think an 8 out of 10 is generous so that's the end of my testing liquid lipsticks video if you enjoyed it do give me a thumbs up and maybe comment down below what you think me your uh, recommendations for liquid lipsticks and also if you'd want me to test out a particular brand just let me know i have got loads that i am going to do but um, if I can help out in any way I will do that and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also press the little bell when I upload more videos you will get them in your subscription box and have a really good day bye guys